What's up Aquarius? It's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm actually back with a Hidden Enemies reading that I want to do for November. Scorpio season we already know can be very dark. So we're going to tap into those energies for this month just so that we can get a little check in. Y'all know most of the uh, the content is pretty positive from Monday motivational messages to our Sunday messages, Oshun messages, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and Angel messages, and then a little bit of love in between. Now, we don't do the monthly readings anymore about enemies, but I feel like every once in a while, we need to go ahead and check in and see what's going on behind the scenes. And I feel like with us approaching a new moon phase, the time when all the kitchen witches like to get in front of their cauldrons and burn their kitchens down, um, I feel like it's the best time for us to go ahead and tap in and check to see what ratty, snaky energies is lurking in, a, lurking in the shadows, okay? All right, Aquarius. Would y'all say that we like the most hated sign? I mean, <laughs> I feel like we are. A lot of people think that we know it all. So they don't like the fact that we know how to be by ourselves in our own environment. And we comfortable with that. People don't like that. When we have an opinion, we stick to that. That we can't be swayed. That we not um, insecure to the fact that when somebody else states an opinion. That we feel like we got to change our views in order to please them. And a lot of individuals, they don't like that about us. Because there's a lot of narcissists out in the world. A lot of narcissists, sociopaths, and people that think that they can come into your life and kind of dictate what it is you do, what you say, how you look, how you dress, how you do your hair, and everything else. You see what I'm saying? And when they don't have that kind of control, when they are coming up against somebody that's not very hard, easy, not very easy to manipulate then they get angry, okay, essentially because they can't get what they want. And when somebody can't get what they want and they have a mental illness or a personality disorder of a specific type, because I'm not going to classify everybody with a personality disorder as this, as this pressed for a need for control, but that's definitely a narcissist. They get a kick out of being able to have control over other individuals' life, they faith, they destiny, the way they do things, the way they even see themselves. You see what I'm saying? And I'm kind of thankful for my interaction with them because now I can pretty much spot them from a mile away. Like, they can't, they couldn't fool me if they tried. A narcissist couldn't fool me if they tried. So, hopefully y'all don't got people like that that's in y'all media space. But, to be honest with you, a lot of y'all are on a personal level. And most of you guys have at least one individual that's like that. And if you really had to ask what the, what the smoke was, I bet you you wouldn't even know. So, that's how you know that people just feel that void within themselves and they try to reflect it off onto you. They don't like what you feel whole within yourself when they only feel like a half of an individual. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if they not with somebody else, around somebody else, receiving some sense of validation, receiving some type of victimization, treatment, woe is me, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? It just all get old and play out. It's like, when, when. Fucking when, okay? It gets annoying, all right? So, yeah, somebody is trying to break you down, but we ain't even tapping in. So, let's go ahead and um, tap right in, Holy Spirit, angels, and sisters of the highest white light. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for the astrological sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month of November 2021 spirit for Scorpio season. Who are the hidden enemies around the sign of Aquarius? Who are the hidden enemies? Listen, pocket watchers, people that's just seeing you elevate in certain ways and they watching every little thing you do, even down to the freaking DoorDash groceries that come to your doorstep. 
Like these people, you can't order nothing from Amazon. You can't purchase a new vehicle. You can't rock a new outfit. They tracking when you get your nails done. They tracking when you get a haircut. Whenever you got a new pair of shoes on, they trying to calculate in their head how much that must have cost you. Like two people be too pressed about your crops. So for a lot of y'all Aquarius, it is definitely harvest season for you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm even getting like to the point where people are hacking. Like people want to know so bad what it is that you earn, how much you paying for your bills or what you got left every month that they willing to like hack emails, hack bank accounts, hack all type of stuff just so that they can get an inside look on your stuff. So you know that this could be somebody that's actually close to you. And if it's not, this person really lurking in the shadows. And they do. They might look innocent. They might look sweet. But this person definitely got a dark side like the children of the corn. They probably been bad like this ever since they was a damn kid. So let's see. What else is coming in for the sign of Aquarius as it pertains to hidden? Yeah, and it's somebody that's holding on too tight. Whenever I see this person, it look like a pinnacle. And pinnacles for me is earth sign, okay? In addition to her red hair speaking to root chakra energy okay so i don't know what's going on with this individual they could be holding on tight to their money while they seeing you uh grow crops and they just they evil eye just growing you know but whoever this person is it's like this person could be holding on tight to their funds and maybe they just that type of person like if they see yo harvest right now then they definitely feeling like it's not fair, you know? So again, this is somebody that's in your immediate space. And if they not anymore, then they once dealt with you, but they so obsessed with watching your progress, you know, watching how you evolve in life, watching to see if the things that you put out into the universe actually come to fruition for you. And it's just exhausting. It gets exhausting. For some of you, this can be an ex that just can't let go of you. You know, maybe ever since you've been gone, every other situation that they dealt with just wasn't the same. People didn't bring the same type of love energy that you brought. Pre people didn't bring the same type of nurture and energy in for you. And this person don't want to let you go. You know, but at the same time, they come kind of coming off as an opportunist. It's like, you know, when they lonely, they want you. But then, you know... Whenever they got, you know, this is the type of person that, that at a moment's notice, they eye can be on whatever they perceive as the next best thing, okay? So, you guys can have a few people in your life because I feel like people are presently in your life and if they not, they watching you enough to almost feel like it. They deep enough in your energy to feel like you see them or talk to them or uh, cross paths with them every day. Let's get more for Aquarius hidden enemies. So you guys may have some type of new beginning coming, whether that's that you move in, you get a promotion, a new job, um, a new position at a new job. Yeah, this person is not a part of your tribe. They're not. I mean, and they could be trying to recruit you or whatever the case is, or they could have been trying to. They could have been trying to involve you in something that you just didn't want to be involved in because you was going your own way, Aquarius. We have our own minds. We don't run in packs. We are the pack. We are that one man, one woman army. Dang, I made a mistake and stopped it instead of paused it. But yeah, with this lantern fairy energy, it's like it's a clear solution to the situation. And it looks like that situation, that clear solution is, okay, or whatever this thing was here, okay, even if this person was supposed to be a part of your tribe, what I'm kind of getting here is that this person, um, I don't know, either they counted you out or they made another group of individuals more important than you. You know what I'm saying? Whoever this is, that's holding on tight. So obviously it's somebody from y'all past. And if they ain't in y'all past right now, then they are exiting y'all past. And this is how they going to be when you no longer in their life. So if you in the ass end of a relationship, sleeping in different rooms, um, putting in to to lease something else for yourself and y'all pretty much already broken up, but y'all just trying to transition out of the connection, then this is how they're going to feel. They're going to be feeling upset that you decided to go and find yourself. This is kind of like that Virgo energy because this reminds me of the hermit. 
The Hermit is the one with the lantern all the time. You know, that's Virgo energy. I'm also getting Gemini energy here. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, whatever this is, again, I, I don't know what this is. Again, this person was putting other people above you. Whether it was somebody that they was more interested in romantically and they met that person through a group of people. Or whether they was just putting their friends above you or just being fake towards you for other individuals. You went off. You found a clear solution for yourself. You went off. You found yourself. And now you are counting your blessings. Now this person is holding on too tight whether that's to money or you or the idea of both, especially if you reap in some type of harvest right now. This person can be looking at you like that shit not fair. Especially if you wasn't in that position when you stopped dealing with this individual or when you decided to just walk away. Okay? So this person felt like they so resonated with another group of people more. And so now, whoever this is, is them and two other individuals. I'm getting that it's definitely a leader here because it's only one person woke. The other two people are asleep. They sheep. Okay? So, <laughs> I guess that's why it's strangely lonely because it's like whoever this person is, they got people around them, but they still focused on you. So, it's a need to definitely protect your energy from whoever this is because with the three witchy sisters, the power of three, either this is somebody that's outside of them that's upset that they upset over you or this is them and two other people. Whether they actual siblings or whether they deal, if it's a masculine, if they dealing with a woman and they got two sisters. So that's kind of what I'm seeing here with the power of three. This is somebody that has been committed to ganging up. You know what I'm saying? Getting like a crew of individuals to try to come up against you. And it definitely can be three of them. Okay? It definitely can be three of them. So just keep that in mind. If y'all feel like um, it's not somebody here that's choosing somebody else over y'all, then somebody else else is choosing you over somebody else and that person is pissed off and so now they're trying to rally up their crew to try to come for you and like i said only one of them even got some sense or some knowledge or uh some know-how when it comes down to this these other two are being led blindly in a situation that they gonna regret these people could have did something on Halloween with this out trick or treating in reverse. You know, they could have been doing something or preparing to do something for this new moon energy. So I don't know what these individuals are planning on doing or if because they holding on way too tight or somebody else holding on to you if they try to, you know, because again, there's something here about them looking into your blessings. You know, so they know, they know that whether they're getting readings or whether they can just see it because they're watching you so heavily. Whatever the case is, Aquarius, whoever these people are, they know you coming into prosperity or you have come into prosperity or it's right around the corner. You're getting ready to receive a breakthrough. You're getting ready to receive harvest and these people ready to come. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I would hope that people wouldn't do... Um, anything so stupid you know but i do feel like these people are they working overtime i feel like you working hard too aquarius the stuff that you doing and the, the way that you evolving growing whatever it is that you're growing um these people don't they they might be feeling like it's unfair like you just getting shit handed to you but at the end of the day they ain't seeing behind the scenes the work that you putting in you know what i'm saying the way that you work tirelessly once again three people at the bottom of the deck, what goes around comes around. So whatever they going through is due to some type of shit that they was doing. Some trickery. You know? And, and I'm going to let you determine that in any way that that is, y'all. Everybody know what they've been through. Some people just been lied on and manipulated. And, you know, whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? Like, and act, some other people have actually thought that, you know, they had knowledge as kitchen witches to go and try to start up some shit counting your blessings all up in your pocket seeing every little thing that you invest yourself in or invest into yourself because you working hard now these individuals they working overtime to try to bring you down because they just 
and some they on some bullshit. Okay. And it's like if you holding on to your coins tightly, it's probably because you it, you putting a lot of energy into a lot of negativity to try to stop somebody else. So that energy of wanting something to stop is gonna be your shit that stop. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm getting from the Wheel of Fortune here at the bottom of the deck. It's like, you know, the three fates, three witchy sisters out trick-or-treating. Here we go. It's like your ancestors is really tired. I've been picking that energy up, but ancestors are really tired. They side eye in this whole situation. What it's saying, the three fates, what goes around, comes around. I do feel like individuals have been warned more than three times to stop certain shit. You know what I'm saying? Whether that's like I said, lying, slandering, stealing, scamming, um, you know, falsely accusing, just starting rumors, kicking up dust, doing magic, whatever these individuals been doing because they so busy pocket watching you while you on your own journey and you being rewarded by the universe for the hard work that you doing and these people just exuding a lot of negative energy and they want to blame you for it but at the end of the day it's their fate it's actually their fate that they created for themselves because what they don't understand yeah they believe in something different than you they probably some luciferians or some satanic ass individuals because you seem like you on a spiritual journey aquarius all right, and it seemed like you got ancestors backing you with this lady with the bosque egg, ancient wisdom. You got knowledge that can't even be seen with the naked eye for most individuals, especially people with their eyes closed or their mind's eyes closed. Like, I don't know, but again, like I said, what I get with all of these three, three, three is that it could be three people involved. They could have been warned three times by the universe, like three major things could have happened car accidents, homelessness, losing a job, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm getting that some people that have miscarriages or brought children into this world that was sick because of the stuff that they doing and people still not stopping. And that's on them. Some people going to jail. Some people really about to be facing some jail time. Years. For fraud, scamming, embezzlement, I'm seeing all that. And they might even be thinking, like, it's you. Like, you retaliated, but it's not. It's the return on their investment. Whenever they did have something going for themselves, they were so heavily hell-bent on directed all their attention towards you in a negative way rather than to continue to cultivate whatever it is that they had going and grow that with the positive energy that they had left. But this is that scarcity mentality like the dollar bills in the world going to run out one day. So they can't allow nobody else around them to be prosperous because if they do, that's going to make them less prosperous, right? The money that you got in your pocket could be in mine's. With this count your blessings. They want you to be down bad so bad. And it's taking them down. And they ain't even getting that shit. They not even getting it. They not getting the law of attraction. They not getting universal laws. That specifically tell you. That all of this that you doing. You put on all this energy and intention. And you think that it's not going to come back to get you. Like you above that, like you exempt from that, you're not. Some of these people got illnesses that they can't get away from. And I, I and I ain't even going to get deeper into it than that. But some people got stuff that they can't heal from. And they ain't going to heal. Through these diseases, they going to meet their maker. And this is all because of a choice.
when they could have just been counting their own blessings. While I was on pause, I heard trafficking too. So not just scheming, scamming, frauding, thieving, robbing, stealing, uh, <laughs> trafficking, just, just low down. You know what I'm saying? Already getting your money in the lowest way ever. And that's probably the real reason why these individuals is upset was because you was working hard for something legitimately, you know what I'm saying, for a long time. And now when it's harvest season, people looking at you sideways because their negative activity is catching up to them. No matter what they was doing. Let's get the energy. Let's get more energy from this situation, from these hidden enemies of Aquarius because it's obviously more than one. Y'all, sacrifice. They feel like they got to sacrifice you. So whatever it is, whatever destiny, this is all over your destiny, period. Your destiny versus their destiny. I was definitely getting this energy um, yesterday that somebody is just a karmic by birth chart. Somebody is a karmic by birth chart in our energy, Aquarius. That person cannot escape karma. Even when stuff is going good, it has to be illegally. And when it does, then they end up getting caught. They go to jail. This person done been, they, like, they, they just faded to suffer, whatever the case is. And whoever this is, they see you faded to be blessed. And this person think that if they sacrifice you, that they'll be, that they'll gain something more than the slothy, you know what I'm saying, low down, crumbling life that they got already you know they feel like they can have more they can have your life they can have your light they can have your gift it's not gonna happen because whoever this person is whatever they do wherever they turn they don't know how to make correct decisions number one and then number two even no matter what warnings they get from the universe they don't stop then number three they faded for that shit they just uh they are a chart karma they are a natal chart karmic Let's get some more intentions from these individuals. That's the hidden enemies of Aquarius. Atonement. They figure if they take you out, then all of the burdens is going to be lifted from off of their back. They could have been that kind of energy. Obsession. Look at this shit. Obsession. And y'all already know I'm a part of this collective. <laughs> and people got the nerve to be in my community post talking about I'm obsessed with them. No, you crazy, retarded bitch. <laughs> no, obsession. And whenever I see this, it really creeps me out because it let me know somebody really want to be your ass bad, Aquarius. Because this person is holding a mirror in their hand, but they looking beyond the mirror at you or somewhere else. Which is letting me know that this person is looking at you and looking in the mirror, comparing you to them. Probably doing everything they can do to get as closely looking like you as they possibly can. Or comparing every little detail down to the eyebrow here. Revenge. Now, we're going to definitely see what this revenge is about. When, and look at this. Naked before the star, star. Somebody superficial. It's like if they not getting the most attention or whatever the case is. Or if they not the whatever. This is the type of woman that's like. She a pretty woman, but she got to be the only pretty woman in the room. If another pretty woman enters the room, this is somebody that would immediately mean mug. This is somebody that would be committed to like whispering and kikiing with anybody that they came with to make that person feel uncomfortable. So that person would feel like, let me just shorten my time at the event because obviously it's not a pleasant environment when in reality it's just this individual that want all eyes on them. But in fact, the, the energy in this card is really somebody that's just beautiful under artificial light alone. It's somebody that got to do a whole motherfucking lot. And I ain't even talking about, I'm just saying like this person goes above and beyond. I was already getting a, a, a trafficking prostitution energy. So this person probably sell their body 
or they probably do any and everything that they can to um, get attention from men. And that's all they have. Period. This is all about who is the best. So if you a feminine Aquarius, it's definitely a female energy that's pissed. And I keep getting this, like, with this sacrifice and revenge, like, this person holding the weapon, this person will be willing to cut you. So, make sure y'all mother, make sure y'all got y'all dang on CCWs ready and cocked. Because, obviously, people out here would have loot with some loose screws, like loose cannons. Keep the Glock cocked, Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and cl um, clarify some of these energies, Aquarius, because this person is like a psycho trip. I damn near want to go straight for the revenge because it's like if you in your own lane with this lantern fairy, off doing your own thing with the self-discovery, finding out who you are, finding yourself going towards your North Node, then what revenge is there to gain? Hmm? What revenge is there to gain? Why is the ghost of the pumpkin patch here? This person, like I said, <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. Well, this is definitely connected to somebody that you guys share a person in common. So, whoever this individual is, they definitely got abandonment issues or whatever the case, rejection issues. They compare themselves to individuals. Um, the person that they compare themselves to, oddly enough, they try to be that individual, which is so fucking crazy. Um, but whoever this is, they need to heal. And they, like I said, they got something that they can't heal from. And it's because of all of this shit that they've been doing. Okay? So, and they could be finding that out now. Whatever they got, they can't heal it. Why is out trick-or-treating in reverse here? I'm telling you, under that moon, they probably used Halloween as something. Again, again, for those of you, because I feel like it's going to be a couple of storylines here, and that is very much cool because different Aquarius going through different things. You know what I'm saying? These people was trying to put a lot of burdens on your back. That's what they was trying to do. They was like trying to make your hard work for nothing. So they definitely was targeting your work. Again, I don't care if you work for a company. These people did the research to find out what you work, where you work. And they definitely put a halt when it come down to your growth. Because these people was watching everything you do, like I said. Every time you step out the house, every time you step in a work building, every time you walk down the street, every time you walk in a coffee shop, wherever you saw this person at, or like I said, if this was somebody that was just stalking you because they got somebody that's interested in you. And for a lot of you, it could be like a yo-yo effect where this person went towards somebody, realized that it just wasn't what they thought, and now they want to come back towards you. Because I'm getting the energy of somebody that already know you. So this is definitely like a three-way situation for a lot of you. For some of you, of course, it's just going to be that jealous coworker, that jealous neighbor, that jealous person that claims to be your best friend. And it still can be a third-party thing because if you got a man or a husband, that person can be extremely jealous of that too. Wishing that they can have somebody like that, wishing that they can take your person. But whatever the case is, I really see somebody here that is, they were so busy counting your blessings, trying to make things hard for you, wanting you to be down bad, putting a lot of pressure and burdens on you that obviously you resilient through. Because you work hard, you know, so that was making them angry alone because it made them feel powerless. That no matter how much they try to stack the odds up against you, the odds always got overcame. Okay? So, here's the thing. This person continues to their own detriment. 
All right, you done freed yourself up over this. I guess for some of you, y'all already knew about this. And just knowing it alone gave you some type of leverage because you was able to counteract it every time. And it, that's why this person is angry because it's kind of like they was asked, they was energetically or spiritually telling you to bow down and you didn't do that. For those of you that I'm saying that this was somebody that walked away and now they feel like they made a mistake and they mad at you about it. This person was treating you like they didn't care the same way. So you walked away from it, you know, and because of that, it's like this person may have been trying to burden you so that you can come back towards them with that whole hero complex energy. So I hope y'all able to keep up with these couple of storylines because it is a couple. All right. So why is the angel of time working too hard here? Yeah, the death card. I'm telling you, they was trying to put an end to your job. They wanted to put an end to your money. And they've been doing this for over a year. Some of them six months, anywhere from six months to a year, they've been doing this. Now it's Scorpio season and uh, uh, this is coming to an end. Day work is coming to an end. They're getting busted for whatever legal activity, that illegal activity they've been doing. Why is sacrifice here? And if you intuitive like me, that's why they want to sacrifice you. <laughs> because you got the knowledge to be able to tell exactly the type of stuff that I'm telling right now today. Okay, so whoever this person is, again, they feel like they can swap out fates with you. They do. I mean, and that's been coming up over and over. I know y'all tired of hearing that. But with this two of pentacles in reverse, it's like they, they tired of going through the karma that they going through. So they looking at your life and they like your life better. They like the fact that you're able to cultivate something legally for yourself, legally and creatively. You don't have to go out and steal from people or put people in harm's way, rob, steal, kill, and all of that to get whatever it is that you're gaining in life. It's because you being obedient in your walk that you being blessed by the universe. It's because you put good energy out. It's because you put out energy. And so that's why you get it in return. Just like they getting a shitty ass return on their investment, you getting a blessed return on yours. This person thinks that they can switch that out. If they take you out the game with this death card here, and that's the thing. If they sick and they can't get over something, then that's what's going on here. They was working overtime to do this stuff to you. Now, they can be gravely ill with, with whatever that is. And if that person is amping it up and they actually did something or they trying to do something during this new moon, they really just about to keep on digging themselves a grave. They done dug in so much graveyard dirt that they done dug six feet for them to fit in. Why is atonement here in reverse? Why is atonement in reverse? Yeah, because this person is pressed. They doing whatever they... They stress the fuck out, okay? Period. They stressed. Because I already told you, some of them is on their way. They got one foot on a banana peel and another foot in a grave. Okay? Period. And I ain't even trying to be mean. But at the end of the day, when you have a choice, when you continue to be lovingly warned by the universe of the Most High God to stop an activity before that junk come back, Stronger than what it is that your body can handle. Stronger than whatever your spirit can handle. Stronger than whatever your mind can handle. Because I'm getting that this individual is definitely losing their mind. They're not mentally, uh, they're not mentally well. I was getting sleep paralysis and stuff like that yesterday. So that could be the same thing for this individual. Schizophrenia, mental illnesses. Um, sleeplessness, they can't sleep at night, they probably being hunted by the same energy that they sent to you. And all of this was because the burdens that they tried to place on you, they now have to bear it for themselves. Because, like I said, what comes around, what goes around, comes back around the three fates. And if it's three people involved, then there's three different fates involved here. Why is obsession here? This is a lot. Watching you. They obsessed with watching you. Like I said, uh, I told y'all. 
I'm, I'm telling you, this is somebody that feel like their spouse wants you. They feel like their spouse dealing with you. So they be watching you relentlessly, wondering if they going to see some kind of sign of yo, they person in the background or you bring they person up or whatever or post a picture with their person or whatever the case is. Whoever this is, is not really their person anymore. It's somebody that want to leave. And I feel like this person is blaming you. You may not even know that this person, because I feel like, like I said, for a lot of y'all, it's what I said. You know what I'm saying? It's somebody that chose a, a different crowd or a different route, and now they're trying to circle back around. And like I said, for others of you, this person is just in a connection, and they want to leave. But at one point, they denied you. Now that they person is found out, this person is obsessed. They watching your every move because they feel like at any given time, you'll show a sign that you feel the same way because they know they can feel it in their bones that they person care about you. Why is revenge here? What's the revenge about spirit? Because they, they trying to cling on to some shit. They trying to cling on to a relationship. They clinging on to their coins. Yes, this person is like trying to keep somebody stuck through sex in a karmic connection. This person is just karmic. They, they might feel like you're karmic. They might feel like they want revenge because they trying to hold on to their person. Their person is slipping through their fingers. For some of y'all, y'all don't even know this. This is going on completely behind your back. You don't even know that anybody from your past is even thinking about you. And for others of y'all that's preparing for union with y'all divine masculine, they ex-spouse is pissed. Or they soon-to-be ex-spouse is pissed. They don't want to work it out anymore because this person refuses to do the inner work. And whoever got this type of energy, they difficult to deal with. They got outside energies involved in everything. So, yeah, this person is feeling like they want revenge because they may be feeling like you the one that broke up their connection. But, in fact, I don't think so because I feel like for some of you, this was a situation where you met somebody, y'all walked away from each other, but this person never stopped thinking about you. And for some of you, you were aware that they coming back into your life. And for others of you, you didn't even know that this person was even a thought or a thinking about you, you know? And I'm sorry I got so many different timelines, but the truth of the matter is, is, is probably that many different scenarios. So that's definitely what's going on. You receiving your blessings. Let's just get an outcome for this situation for Aquarius because I don't want to just leave y'all hanging. But that's what's going on, okay? This person is making the last little attempts with the last little bit of life force that they got left. Rather than them trying to right their wrongs before they go to meet their maker. For real. What's the outcome for Aquarius? Power. Uh -huh. You taking your power right back. Whatever little bit of drained energy that they gained out of this situation, you getting it right back. Every single thing that they was trying to withhold or delay for you, you getting it right back. Any health ailments that they were sicking on you, you about to heal. Action. You don't even have to take action. Action came in reverse. The outcome is just sit back and keep being you. Period. Because it's being handled. This battle is not yours. What's the outcome for Aquarius? Power. Like I said, that was meant to come out. Period. People don't understand how powerful you are in the spirit, spirit Aquarius. They think you just knowledgeable. That's, that's not just it. You self-aware, you connected to your higher self, and you connected to your spiritual team that don't play. What else is the outcome for Aquarius? Will in reverse. Okay, so I don't know what that willpower is. It's something that's a temptation that's coming in for you. Action was in reverse, so you're probably not going to be taking action for that. Any voids are being fulfilled. Okay, so if you was feeling void, tired, 
any type of lethargic energy, depressed, whatever it was being projected onto you. You regaining your sense of power back. There's no longer a void here. You won't be feeling any type of void at all. Like I said, at best, the most challenging energy here is this wheel in reverse. So once again, I also see that as the strength in reverse. And like I said, that's like somebody health ain't the best here. Okay, not just not Aquarius, somebody else that decided not to take action or have any type of will type power towards their path. So whoever was off their path here, that person is sick. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, for some of y'all, this person is a birth chart karmic. It ain't nothing that they can do about their karmic energy. They just that. They're that. Okay, let's get one more for the outcome for Aquarius. So I feel like actually this role is uh, the outcome for them. And this role is the outcome for us. All of our voids are being filled. These individuals that didn't take action, they wasn't able to resist temptation or the dark side or just doing dark and negative things. These individuals are off their path. They off their path and that's why it's a lack of protection here. And we've been getting that since earlier. Actually, I've been getting that since last night. But like I said, the reading that I did last night, I didn't even put out because I was dragging somebody ass to hell. Okay, so let's get one more focus. Like I said, because you are you continue to be focused, this is our row, Aquarius. You're regaining your sense of power. You're taking your power. You're taking your energy back. You're clearing individuals from your subconscious mind. You're evolving. You're even more immersed into your intuition women empowerment and everything else any voids are being fulfilled in your life this is no longer the vibe this is the vibe the vibe is power and backup being an individual that you are meant to be and like i said a lot of y'all did shadow work so if there was any weak energy that was lingering about you guys from y'all south node where you would not set healthy boundaries and let people run over you aquarius that is over with People are not able to do that anymore. You are recognizing who you are and you're utilizing your power as such. And these individuals ain't got no choice but to bow down. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe and I'll check you guys out.